so it's 5.30, no, it's 4.30 in the morning and I'm off to do something very special today, apparently. <laughs> This is the runway at London City Airport. Well, that's the start of it. Behind me, we've got all these balloons and uh, London has got me to go up on these balloons today. So in about half an hour's time, we're gonna head up above London. It was really cold, hence the mumbling and waffliness of that. Here's Declan Collier. He's the CEO of the airport. Normally, uh, what would be hurtling down here is, uh, is a 120-seat uh, jet aircraft, uh, which most people would be familiar with, but an Embraer or maybe one of the new Bombardier C series is that we've just taken in. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't normally be standing here. Uh, this is, uh, is an aircraft-only zone. Today is special, and uh, what we're doing today is we're celebrating our 30th anniversary, and we're doing it by hosting the Lord Mayor's Balloon Regatta. So just over 30 hot air balloons are going to take off from on the runway at London City Airport uh, around about half an hour from now and uh, we'll be flying over the northeast of London and celebrating our 30th birthday. So we're on a pretty tight schedule. The plan is to take off about seven o'clock. So all of a sudden there's a huge amount of activity. Uh, I'm gonna be in this one, the Rico balloon. Ed is the pilot. He's the guy in the cap just about to wave me in. Okay. So the whole while I'm doing this, I'm also doing a Facebook Live and answering live questions as they're coming in. And we're off. We're off. We're on Facebook. How high are we now, Ed? We are 800 feet above the sea level. Um, we're just above sea level anyway, so about 700 foot above the ground at the moment. So in the background, what you can see is the city of London. You can see uh, a bit of Docklands. You can see city airports, all the planes parked up. They'll all start going again about lunchtime. So at what point this morning did you know where we possibly might land? Oh, we've known for a couple of days where the wind's, with the, the direction the wind's going. We won't know until we actually 
Hit find a suitable field okay. where we're going to land. Uh, Jess asks, how much control do you have to the way you land? I think that's to the way you land. It's like, is the way you land? Um, well, I can control our height within inches if I need to. Yeah. Um, so you can use winds at different heights to steer. Okay. Um, the thing we can't, we have to go where the wind is going. Um, so you can use effectively, if you know area well, and you've landed somewhere before, you can effectively fly to that area again. Um, but you, you can't, like a, a sailing boat, a yacht, get tack and go upwind. You can only go downwind. All right. Um, and then what we do is we, we'll find a suitable field and we, we fly the balloon down into the field. So even when we're descending, we're always burning. We burn to climb, we burn to stay level, we burn to descend. So we're always constantly burning, using, adding as little or as much heat as possible so we can uh, fly. Balloonists, yeah, balloonists. Aviators, navigators. Uh, no, balloonists. Pilots, uh, balloonists. We're pilots. We are pilots. Um. Just to do all the training to do with navigation and stuff as well. Yeah, we have uh, to get you have to, to get uh, your private license first. Then, um, if you want to earn money from it, then you have to get your commercial license. So you have five written exams and wow. various different subjects. People are beeping at us. So we've travelled over Dagenham, over Hornchurch, uh, Upminster as well. Uh, we've been looking for a place to land for a while, and when we do find one, there's just two of us left. So it's just us and these guys. We started off about 27, 30 balloons, something like that. They're coming down as well over there. The, probably the last two of the 30 or so that took off this morning. Yeah, okay, so okay. We're gonna go into this okay, so we are going in. At some point, I've got to put this phone away. Right, keep it. Okay, phone away now, please, okay, and good. then facing. Okay. Here we go. Woo! Can I get out? Uh, for the wait seconds. a minute. Here. Okay. So we've landed. We're, we're on the ground. We're okay, in a field. You can get out now. Ed is doing this thing. Uh, you can actually have a look at the balloon that we were in this morning. That's a pretty smooth landing, actually. But there you go. So the crew who have to track us by line of sight do finally get to us after we send them a GPS location. Uh, they pack everything up. I jump in the back and get dropped off at Shenfield local train station on a Sunday morning, shoes covered in mud, and I head back towards London City Airport to pick up the car. 